Lisa Gollum here. Thanks for joining me. And you are watching me paint live at Bestival uh, while the Clefts of Moor are playing in the background. They were so, so inspiring. I was having a blast listening to their music. But just so you're aware, the music you're listening to in the background is not the Clefts of Moor, unfortunately. I didn't want to violate any copyright laws on my YouTube channel, so I found some non-copyrighted Celtic music on epidemicsound.com. If you're looking ever for copyright free music, it's a great place to go. So sometimes people ask me, how can you do paintings live? Like, aren't you nervous? Um, isn't it kind of hard to paint in front of an audience? <laughs> and the answer to that question is kind of yes. Um, I like it. If there's some reason, um, I can seem to forget that there is even an audience behind me. Um, most of the time I'm really just listening to the music and losing myself in that and then um, sort of just painting from my intuition mostly. Um, I do semi-plan what I'm going to do when I do live paintings. Um, I've ha I have done live painting where I've not planned at all and they've actually turned out fairly well, in some cases better than the ones I plan. However, if I show up at a, an event and I don't have any plan, I might have the wrong supplies for the things my intuition dictates. I might um, get frustrated. So I do like to plan, if I can, um, at least color scheme and sort of the techniques, the, the bank of techniques that I want to use at that particular for that particular event or painting. Now, in this case, Tim Moore, of, um, the leader of the Clefts of Moore, had said to me in, at the last festival event where I attended that he would just love if, rather than just doing a complete abstract, that I would do a semi-abstract with sort of the clefts um, in mind as I did that. So of course that kind of inspired me. I went home and I looked at a whole whack load of pictures of the Clefts of Moore in Ireland. And they're so beautiful. I've never been to Ireland. I would love to go someday. Um, but yeah, I so I looked at all those pictures. I found a few that I liked and sort of just looked at them a lot. Um, then I decided I was going to pre-texture. So what I did was, using modeling paste, I pre-textured the area where there's cliffs and a tiny bit in as well the sky and a really tiny bit in the grasses in the front. Um, and that was great because it gave me kind of a, a, a sort of blueprint to follow as I painted live. So for the curious among you, you're probably wondering how in the world I can spin my canvas around like that, <laughs> like some kind of Ferris wheel, and like put it in any orientation I like anytime I want. <laughs> and it's just really, really, really fun. Um, actually, my husband bought me an artistic easel last Christmas, and that's what I'm using. And it, it's a kind of an easel that's very special and very unique, and it holds the canvas from behind so that there's no ledge that it's sitting on, so I can paint all the way to the edges of the canvas without worrying about the edge, the ledge that it's sitting on like you would in a normal easel. And I can turn it any way I want, anytime I want. Gives me such freedom. Also, you know, I kind of have a bum shoulder. So my right shoulder has been painting for a long time and it's getting tired. I am over 50 and, you know, these aches and pains are real. It's real. <laughs> so it's really nice to be able to turn the canvas so that I don't have to reach up as much with my shoulder. So there you have it, my artistic easel. So at this point, um, I've got the main painting sort of mapped out, but I'm now I'm just adding a few dramatic darks in those cliffs for final details. I will share the final painting at the end of this video so that you can see how it turned out. But the final darks um, just give it that extra pop of contrast that really helps a painting to be more successful. I will confess to you that I'm not loving the water in this painting. 
Um, it, I did it this way because of some pictures that I had seen, but I'm not loving it, so I'll probably go back to the drawing board post live painting and fix it a little bit before it goes to the buyer. So please don't forget to like the video, make comments, interact with me, I will respond. Um, do all the things and, and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel just because it would be great to have you here. So now comes my favorite part, talking to people and interacting with them and as they ask questions about my art. Brings me such joy. So much fun. So this is the end result. The Cliffs of Moher in Ireland. A little bit abstract, a little bit real. We got some texture that gives the sky and the cliffs a little bit of a sort of abstract surreal effect. And then the grasses and the water in the front.